before this video even begins, make sure to go down below, drop a like, subscribe, click the bell to turn on post notifications, and make sure to leave a nice comment down below. Brandon here and welcome back to yet another episode of this brand new series that I don't really have a title for yet but hopefully you guys can think of one but we're just gonna roll with just calling this the brand new series for now basically we are on the uh, Schoenfeldt server and uh, a lot has happened it's been about two weeks since I've last hopped on because spring break I was away so I couldn't hop on the server things like that but uh yeah I'm actually really really excited because I spent about two or three hours on the server yesterday just kind of messing around doing some things and it was really really fun so i'm going to be showing you guys a clip of that pretty soon and then we're going to kind of continue on with the episode but uh yeah before we get started if we can go for a like goal if we can go for six likes on this video that would be absolutely amazing i know that you guys can do it if each and every one of you go down below right now and click that like button i mean it's free you might as well and make sure to comment down below what number of like you are so i can thank you appropriately but uh yeah so ever since last time a, a lot has happened so let, let me just kind of go through it first off we have a brand new set of armor second off we have some pretty cool stuff in our inventory but the really really cool stuff is if you look over here we have some stuff sorted out but if i open up this look at all of that guys but but that's not all if we open up this yeah so we had a pretty fun time the other day gathering some things and stuff like that so it's going to be pretty interesting and we have some stuff that we want to do this episode but mainly let me let me sort of explain what happened so i went over here okay wait my sprint key is still unbound what is this what is happening okay so now that my sprint key is bound to the r key correctly let me just kind of show you guys what happened so there's a quarry over here i don't know whose quarry exactly this is but basically it leads down to here and right over there is a ravine and actually i believe this quarry connects to it as well because this is where i popped out of yeah it connects to the oh i almost fell in but it connects to the exact same ravine if you guys can see down there and basically right i was like oh this is this is pretty cool there's like a ravine there's like a bunch of things that these guys like haven't mined out yet because there's like a giant tunnel from what looks to be like you know just a turtle that mined a bunch of things so there's like a huge tunnel which is a bunch of ores so i was like oh i can just like follow this for a little bit collect some ores and stuff and um we'll be fine i ended up following the tunnel if i uh, zoom out of the map if you guys can see that tip at the top right on the top right of the screen right over here there should be a little mini map that i'm zooming in and out that area even further past that we probably traveled about 5,000 blocks in that direction underground because there was just tunnels and tunnels of ores and i was like what is going on like did someone just turn on one of their mining things and forget it was there turns out they didn't we found something there that was absolutely ridiculous so i'm going to play a sort of a little quick montage of me just kind of running through and trying to figure out what's going on
Alrighty, so you guys should have just seen a uh, little montage of me mining and stuff. We've done a lot of it. As you can see in my inventory, we've done probably too much of it, actually. But, I mean, we have a lot of fun stuff, especially in the backpacks. So, this is going to be a very, very fun time. But I came across something. First of all, this is this is a troll diamond block. Don't worry, it's not an actual diamond ore. We ran into a lot of those. But, um, so I saw some stuff on the mini-map, and I saw a ladder. So, I was like, okay, I'm going to go up the ladder and see what we run into. And we found someone's base. And, and I use that in the roughest term possible because I don't even know if I can call this a base. Now, this isn't Kyle's, I'm pretty sure. This possibly could be Brojo's. But look at this. Like, what am I looking at? There's something alive up there, spinning like a spawner. That looks like it's a cephadrome spawner. But I'm, I'm actually super lost because I recognize some of this. Like, that over there, that is a king spawner from the brown ant dimension meaning this doesn't even belong in this dimension that over there that is a giant dragon which i do not feel that's a nightmare that is not a cephadrome that is a nightmare please stay in that cage because that will kill me also speaking of nightmares if we uh, walk over here there's a nightmare spawner uh right up there there you go just rendered in which I don't feel like going to. There's a giant cave over here, which I believe is the Emperor Scorpion boss. There's some stuff from the Crystal Dimension. That's a beehive. There was an attack squid here earlier that I think died. That's a... That's a volcano. So, this collection, this area, is basically just... Imagine every single structure from a different dimension that just got, like, copy and pasted and grafted onto this one. Like, I don't know what I'm looking at, though there are more than one of those dragons. So I don't know what I'm looking at. I, I'm pretty sure there is an item within Orspawn that allows you to teleport structures from another dimension into the current one, which I think is what occurred. Either that or some massive chunk glitch, because that is, that's a challenge dungeon. Right in front of us, that right there, that is a challenge dungeon, and that looks to be the Queen's challenge dungeon, which is, like, the ultimate like thingy like you challenge that after killing the queen like that is the final final boss stage and we just got like a lot of fun so you're looking at me funny i'm going but I i'm definitely not gonna check this out but i did mark it on the map and i'm gonna mark it again just in case going just ah there we go so we marked it i'm gonna mark this just so that we can come back to it later because i don't i i don't know what's happening here I, I really want to know what's happening here, but I don't want to die because we have so much good stuff on us that I, I just don't want to die. So just as a quick little break to show you guys what is going on. I don't I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to get back into this little tunnel area that I was in and just go back to my mining. So yeah, I will see you guys when we find a way out of here. Also, through the top right, that triangle directly in the middle, if I uh, zoom in, that is... Oh, okay. I can sort of see what's happening here now. I, this doesn't explain anything, but that is where we are, and if I zoom out, if you guys see those two squares on the right side, that's where the castle is, that's where home is, so we are quite far from home. We did a lot of mining and stuff, like, okay, I found one of these tunnels, and it led to another one, and it led to another one, and before I knew it, I was in too deep, and I was mining, and I'm probably still going to continue doing a little bit of mining, but, um... Yeah, I don't know what's going on here, and I really want answers, so, um, I, I guess we'll, I'm gonna talk to some of the other members, see if any of they, like, see if they know at all anything, but, um, yeah, I'll get back to you guys on that. We're inside Abyssal Stone again. I don't feel like getting lost inside Abyssal Stone. Of course this continues. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it? Alright, so that should have shown you guys all of the mining that we did, as well as the base that we found. So, it turns out that is actually one of our members' bases. It wasn't just like a bunch of random things that just happened to be there. It wasn't a chunk glitch. It was actually someone's base. This He set up a teleporter, which is pretty ridiculous, and it is actually something that I want to set up pretty soon as well. And so we're going to try and maybe make some stuff this episode that are going to be working towards that. But it was absolutely ridiculous. That is his base. He was able to take some things from different dimensions and bring them there. So that is pretty ridiculous. And that is probably something we're going to be doing in a future episode. So if you guys see down here, we have these ant hills, right? There's an ant nest, rainbow ant nest, a red ant nest, unstable ant nest, and a termite nest. Each of these, you can make a nest out of, right? 
and then you can click on them and it takes you to a completely separate dimension which is honestly ridiculous and i am so ready for it okay i just sneezed that was really abrupt but we had to go to other dimensions fight some bosses i am super excited for that but but the big question is which one should i go to first so right now go down below comment down below do you want me to go to the regular ant rainbow ant red ant unstable ant or the termite dimension first comment down below whichever one i see has the most votes or something like that that is the one that i would travel to and i think just for the just for the fun of it we're gonna fight a bee because i feel like i need more loot if you guys don't know there's like a bee and it's a pretty strong boss and um well it used to be a pretty strong boss i'm pretty sure we can kill it kind of easily now because we have amethyst and stuff so yeah here, there's the bee also we have a bunch of fairies fighting for us like last time i had to rely on the fairies to fight it now i can basically 1v1 it although the fairies are kind of taking care of it already come on oh he's he's gone so yeah that was pretty fast but he dropped some pretty awesome loot like there's some gold some butter candy i can still hear the buzzing but uh that, that's basically it that was the b that used to be a super duper hard boss now i'm just like eh we'll, we'll spawn one in because why not so yeah that is that is basically how far we progressed i have full amethyst armor we do have a lot of amethyst and it is fairly strong strong in diamond so i'm pretty satisfied about that we're gonna just pop this in there oh that doesn't go there i need that still and i believe this goes in here as long as as well as the flowers and maybe the mushroom but hey hey you come here hey you come here come here no fairies back away don't don't punch the sea viper please i'm trying to like uh wait where'd he go oh hey we got him on land now we just cut off his escape and we're good yo 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 this actually this is actually yo 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 we might be able to kill a sea viper this oh my goodness wait if we can kill this guy that would be absolutely legendary yo look at his health look at his health 86 85 84 83 82 81 75 74 72 we're gonna kill him and he has yet to hit us wait what because usually what this guy does is as defense he will try to flee back into the ocean but we managed to lure him onto land and trap him. Yo, yo, this is legit. And he's focused on my fairies, so he can't hit me. Yo, can we kill this guy? Okay, there are so many fairies here right now. Okay, wait, I'm going to stop hitting you with my fairy sword just because I'm spawning in way too many fairies. I, I apologize for all my fairies because there's way too many. But uh, we're just going to jump inside of you and punch you. And we killed the sea viper. Oh my goodness, wait, yo, that's legit, we just killed a sea viper, I don't need copper ore, I just need, well, what do I need, that's what I need, I need this, I need the sea viper tongue, I need the sea viper tongue, that's like, ASAP, we need that, that is like the one thing that we need, can I combine these things to make a new one, I can, okay, sweet, we're gonna free up some inventory space, we get a lot of raw chicken, for whatever reason, never mind, no, we don't want crystal torches, my fairies drop that, when they die, because we killed accidentally a lot of them. Okay, wait, you know what? We're just gonna pick up all the torches right over here. Okay, wait, never mind. This is just a bunch of raw chicken. Because a sea viper drops raw chicken for whatever reason. Oh, wait, we can eat the beef. And then... Yo! We got the sea viper tongue. I don't even need iron armor. We got the sea viper tongue. That was actually... Okay, it's a lot easier to fight when 1v1. Because the last time it was 1v9. So I ended up dying, which kind of makes sense. But... If we go over here, this is my final goal, right? I don't know if it's this one. It's this one. So Big Bertha, the blade. Look at what's in the recipe. Sea Viper Tongue, as well as a bunch of other bosses. So you need the Caterkiller Jaw, which I have the Dried Caterkiller. You need a T-Rex Tooth, a Kraken Tooth, a Worm Tooth, a Vortex Eye, as well as the Emperor Scorpion Scale Nightmare Scale. You basically just need to kill a bunch of... um you know bosses to kill this thing so you know it's gonna be pretty fun we're one step closer we now have a sea viper tongue which sounds a lot cooler i swear Alrighty, we have made it back and ooh, some of my rubber trees have all grown up so that is very nice also i'm actually going to plant some right over here so we can have a rubber you know rubber tree forest around our house that way it makes you know a lot easier to gather this resource because i feel like it's a little bit difficult but let's grab our tree top see if we can do anything here here we go got one 
Uh, is that it? Is that one? One out of five trees? It's not very good odds. Oh, wait, nope. Two, but I think it's on the same tree. Actually, though. And I believe that's it. But, I mean, you know, not, not too bad. Not too shabby. So, we came back here. We got a bunch of rubber. We can put our tree tap back. But, right now, I'm going to do this. Philosopher's Stone, as much rubber as I possibly can. And sweet. Okay, we got 24. And I think I'm actually going to end off the episode. Also, I'm going to put this. Wait, is there anything in this one? No. So I'll put that there. That is going to be the boss chest. That is where we are going to work towards our ultimate goal of making the sword. But um, I think I'm actually going to end off the episode here. It actually ran a lot longer than I had anticipated. So hopefully you guys do enjoy a longer sort of episode. I actually don't know how long it will be after editing. Probably around 20 minutes or so, best guess. But uh, yeah, I'm going to end it off now. So at the start of next episode, we are going to be making the teleporter and then working on the quarry in the castle over there. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to go down below and drop a like. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this epic modded series because I know I am. There is so many things that I want to do, but of course we have to get stronger beforehand. But uh, yeah, as always, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell next to the subscribe button to turn on post notifications. That way you guys will never miss a single one of my uploads. YouTube's kind of weird. So if you don't want to miss an upload, make sure to click that bell and comment down below hashtag notification squad. That way I know you guys are members. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.